Oh my goodness, what have I done? What have I done? The quarry is done, everyone. I mean, there are probably a few things that we need to do. Like, we need to pour some water over the obsidian. And obviously, we got to fill in the walls and stuff. But that's going to come later. I think that it is time to start the end portal. We're here in the swamp. <laughs> I've been actually playing with Forge and with Journey Map installed on the Realm. Journey Map, if you don't know, you can play on vanilla realms and stuff with Journey Map and inventory tweaks, which is really nice. Uh, and I've been doing that. I was just going to show you on the map, but I obviously can't do that from here. I don't like to record with it because my frame rate isn't as good. Anyway, welcome to the Realm, everyone. This is the Realm of Vastin. My name is Fixit. And it is time now, thanks to DNA and his wife and Captain Doey um, and Howard and uh, the Cone 27, uh, we have this all dug out. I did a whole bunch of it at the end just to sort of finish it off, but this was a real group effort because this was a lot of digging. I mean, we had to fill in the water first and then dig it, get the dimensions right. It is time, though, to begin sort of my vision for this project and i hope it's a good one i'm a little nervous i won't lie i definitely am but yeah i think we just got to go for it so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna keep you guys with me here just for the first couple like sort of minutes of this um and then lay some stone down so we can sort of get the idea now i should say uh, um i'm a little bit nervous in a way about this build i'm nervous about starting a build this big because i'm nervous that it won't be as good as i want it to be you know and that's definitely something uh, and then editing a build like after you if you're halfway through and you realize that oh no i did something terrible well that's a big deal that's a real problem um oh i see the uh the beacon's gone so i mean which is fine we don't obviously we don't need it but I'm nervous about it for a few reasons. I'm nervous that, I, you know, I, I hope that sort of my vision for this this tower is going to be good. This tower is going to go to essentially close to build height. It's going to be a massive structure. But before we even build the tower, we have to build this this cavern, this cave. This It's not even a cave. It's, well, I'll show you what it is after I get this done. All this stuff's going to have to go. I'll mine, I'll, I'll mine all that stuff up. You know, later on, it's actually really, it's actually really cool with supports and everything, but, but totally unnecessary. I mean, it's cool and I'm glad we have it, but we definitely don't need it anymore because it's time to actually start building. So I got some work to do. Oh, I should say one thing that I am nervous about, and I'll talk about it later, is I'm nervous about how to get mobs to not spawn here. I'm not sure I have a way around that, to be totally honest. It's something that is going to require a lot of thought. I have one idea that I think will work or and or there is the idea of carpet and or string. So there's some options. I think maybe string might be the best shot, but that's neither here nor there and will come with time. So time to get going. We're doing this is going to be primarily out of stone brick and um you know variants and stuff so i i got a, i got a whole whole bunch of crafting to do so let me do this crafting let me get started rolling oh perfect and it's raining let me get started rolling here i don't think for the initial bit i'll be using any, any texture variation so i think i can just go right ahead and and get rolling on this so okay i'll see you guys in a minute wish me luck all right let me do a little bit of crafting here i thought i'd bring you guys in so um I have the beginnings of sort of what is going to be the ring around the portal held out. Now, I know I'm kind of holding my long-term plan here because I want to let you guys uh, sort of watch it with with me develop. Um, but I, I, I need a bit of a landing platform here because I... I sh shoot. That is not the glass that I thought it would make. Darn it all, I needed gray. And I used way too much. I, this is what I needed. Yeah. Oh, that's what I wanted. Ah, oh, shoot. Well, okay. That's okay. I can go get so, go get a, a little bit more. But this should at least get me there. What I want basically is I want to tear down this, tear down this um this area here and have a place where I can hopefully land and not die. And my thought is try this stuff now. We'll see how successful this is. this is at holding me up. But I'm pretty sure this should be a fairly invisible place 
that you won't really tell it's there. Yeah, it's pretty light. It's pretty light. Um, coming down, you won't have that little the little box either, you know. So I think it'll be all right. And yeah, my idea is I'm gonna I'm gonna fill this whole entire area in with just this light gray glass. That's one of the reasons why I had this texture. And um, yeah, let's just go up here and sleep. <laughs> it's already nighttime. Uh, can you see if you're? Uh, you can, but just barely. And that's not gonna be an issue at all in an, a little while because that's why we're making all the black wool. So okay, I I, I want to come in and show you here other than other than idiotically using all of my bone meal that's here. Not, we have a ton of bone meal in the realm, just not actually here. No big deal. So what I'm working on is I'm trying to figure out... I have one circle here. What I want to do is I want to make four circles kind of coming out. And I'm not totally sure how the best way to go about this is. So um, I have these... So if I'm thinking this is like a three... Then this would be a two, and then there'd be like an imaginary one there, and then this would be a two, and then that would be a three. Oh, but it's way too small. Mm -hmm. So, let's try, let's try this again. So three. So that'd be the two. Let's, let's get rid of this again. One, two, three. Um, this would be the two. I guess I'd need another two. Yeah, so that would be the circle. Three. Well, three, two, or I could just do this. This would be actually just as good. Just do that. Okay, that'll work. That'll work. So three, two, and then one, one, one. So let's try this. Let's see it. Just uh, We'll do one sort of together and see how it is. One, 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 and then we're going to come out for two, and then one, two, one. Three. Now, hypothetically, this should be another sort of semi. I guess this. Oh, this is way more singles. i clearly I'm gonna have to work this out on my on my own because I have I have a. Uh, this is very confusing. I don't know why that doesn't look like the circle that I thought it would. This is the, okay. Uh, I'll be right back. So I got some more work done here. Um. The sim, the symbol of this church is is a circle because of the Ender Pearl. That's kind of the idea. They worship the Enderman and the Ender Pearl and all that stuff. So I kind of came up with the this this sort of hanging design that is going to hang the Ender, uh, well, the End Portal from it. Now I think I think it's good. It is admittedly a little bit bigger than I thought, but I think I'm going to need that because I'm going to have some chains running up to hold this whole thing up, up to the wall. Um, you know, the idea being that maybe the ender, maybe the ender portal can't be touching the ground or something has to be suspended. I, I, I'm not, I'm not totally sure on the lore there, but that's going to be the kind, of, the kind of idea. However, the only thing I have that's going to work to make chains really is going to be netherrack and that is something that is in pretty short supply here um another brick specifically so i think i'm gonna have to go off to kalahol and oh you know what i should take i should take some shulker boxes because i'm gonna need a lot of it and i'm gonna have to try attempt to get the oh barely made it super smelter in kalahol working i think that is going to be my my best chance. Oh yeah, by the way, I redid the hopper texture. My best chance for success there. So, wow, there are a lot of hoppers here. All unnecessary at this point, but it's okay. I wonder where those things went. I didn't get them. <laughs> Made in the end. Junk. Here? No. Here? Oh, there's some nice stuff here. And three shulker boxes. Nice. My shulker boxes, I, I'm actually not really clear on where they went i i feel like maybe i left them somewhere but yeah i'm just not really sure on that so okay well off to Kalahal. i will off to the nether technically i will see you back here uh oh boy once i get a lot of smelting done i'll be back in a few well this is a little depressing <laughs> i i think i fixed my super smelter 
Um, it seemed like maybe it was just missing a piece of redstone. I don't know. It seems like it's turning on and off. I, I can't seem to figure out where anything's going at this moment. But, I mean, it does look like it's getting netherrack and it's going in and the coal seems to be going out. I don't know. I don't know. So, I got all this stuff smelted up. Um, this was here already. Uh, in fact, most of this was here. I think I've only smelted about one stack so far, which is a little depressing because one stack is only 16 actually actual nether bricks and what's really depressing about that is i use full durability on both of my pickaxes and uh yeah i i had like basically well four inventories worth of um netherrack uh, including you know three shulker boxes and and just myself my own body and uh yeah there's a lot to go a lot to go so i don't know i mean i don't know if i i, I know i don't need to put this in but I, I just I, I don't know why I care because it, this is not going to be functioning when I'm at the church at the end unfortunately we don't chunk loaders of course so I, I don't know man I mean it's it's going pretty quick I gotta say like you know you can see it counting up so I'm getting basically a nether brick every four or five four seconds something five seconds um yeah, but I'm going to need more netherrack. You know what? Let's go build. Let's go build. Let's go build some, some chains and just see how we how we go from there. But I can't even leave. I don't even know how to leave. There we go. But uh, first, well, first thing is first. I'm going to have to go repair my tools. Fortunately, I'm going to do that in the place that we're going to right now. So let's take a little fly. I'm sure it won't be chunk loaded, right? I'm sure. I mean, it's actually, it's surprisingly not that far I, you can almost look look you can still see it you can see it you can almost see it i mean if i had a better render distance like on a single player world i think i could probably see it but i'm pretty sure i slept here so uh yeah i guess first things first this is going to be an extremely well while i'm working on this project this is going to be extremely cutty uh, project for sure. I, I mean, it's going to have each of these is going to have a million, a million little cuts, and that's just going to be the nature of, of this sort of level size of build. But yeah, so okay, all right, I'm not going to bore you more. I, I'll fix this stuff and then get right back with you. Well, I've got some options here on how I want to do this exactly. I know it's time for another cut. Also, it looks like it's time for nap time, but. I made a bunch of these stairs here. The problem is I want to use two different chain blocks so you can see. It's just I don't think it'll be obvious if I go black, if I go the same. I just don't think it'll be that good. Oh, wait. No, no, no. I almost messed up. I do not want to sleep. I did an experiment that I want to sort of test out here. So, okay. What do we think of that? What do we think of that? I... You know, I could use I could use stairs on just the black chains. I just don't have stairs on anything else, and I don't really want to use. Well, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I, I don't have I don't have sideways stairs on anything, so there's not a great option unless I did cobble. And cobble would be the other option. And I if I did cobble, I could use wall to kind of round the corners. I don't know how that would look. That's probably worth a shot, but. Before I do that, my experiment is, I have some string. I put some string down on top of those, on top of the chain there, and I want to see if anything spawns. Unfortunately, nothing spawning on, on this part either, and there's nothing down there, so that's not really going to tell me all that much. <laughs> yeah, I kind of thought we'd get, like, you know, boom, nighttime, monsters everywhere, but that's not really turning out to be the case, is it? I mean, there's a few. So, what are the what's gonna be holding these chains up? Well, my thinking is, my thought is, we're gonna have floating buildings that are gonna be in the style of the end cities. I thought that would be cool, but they're gonna be made out of you know man man made materials in a way, like man had you know stone and stuff. I do think I, I wanted to use this diorite. Is this diorite? What the heck is this? Andesite. I wanted to use this andesite for that, but the more I think about it, the more I think 
maybe cobble is going to be the best answer cobble along with the the netherrack it's a really tough it's a really tough decision i it's so unfortunately the sides aren't rounded i'm kind of drug about that but because i couldn't round the 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 horizontal ones i thought maybe it was best to not round the vertical ones i just don't know yeah, so all these chains are going to be different lengths. And in fact, some might be curved out a little bit. I, I, I'm not I'm not really totally exactly sure how that's going to go down exactly. Um, I'm not getting any spawns up there, so that's a good thing. So I, I thought string would work, but I wasn't, I'm not completely sure. And you can't really see it. And we have an abundance of string in Sandrasky, which is terrific. So that would be something, because I don't want, I, I really don't want mobs to spawn up on top of this. So whenever you're going in the portal, I don't want there to be like, you know, 15 skeletons standing around. I think that will kind of take, take you out of the illusion. But I think I'm going to go, eh, let me try cobble. I'll try cobble. This is going to take me a few minutes to get this and I'm gonna wait and see if anything spawns at night so uh, let me see how that goes well I don't even want to admit how late of a night this has been already I should have been in bed at least an hour ago but here I am I started a project and I I, I, I want to show you guys what I have done today this may be the shortest episode <laughs> ever on the playlist but not in amount of time this is actually a whole day after I started it but yeah I just I feel like um, actually you know what this episode's going on Monday so I should say I'm having I'm ha I had my baby today probably or sooner but most likely today so congratulations to me uh, and my wife who did you know a, a portion of the work. Uh, anyway, so I, I am, I am backlogging a little bit cause I don't know when, I don't know, you know, I'll be in the hospital and stuff and, and all, all that kind of stuff, which is awesome. Uh, but yeah, I, I'm clearly going to be busy. So here's what, here's what I, here's what I've gotten done, um, today and yesterday and very late. So here we go. Ready and kaboom. It's a little miniature kind of end city. Uh, okay, a couple, thi couple things learned. The chains. I may use cobblestone for the where the netherrack is because the, the cobblestone wall to make the, the curve on the chain works great. Like, really great. It really looks like a, a chain link. So I may end up, maybe I'll, I'll, maybe I'll turn the netherrack into cobblestone. I'm not sure. So the idea is these are floating and I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to do some effects on the bottom. I think maybe, maybe some sort of stained glass sort of effects, uh, maybe something. I don't know. I mean, there's a lot that's still up in the air, but this is the general gist of what's going to be going on. Now, this is all going to be looking like it's floating in a void because the reason I did Joe's sheep emporium is to get just truckloads of black wool and this black wool we're going to cover the entire ground the entire walls well not the entire walls because there's some other stuff coming um and then we're going to make the we're not going to cover the roof most likely I, I i haven't completely tracked down in my head what i want to do with the roof i'm probably gonna be thinking about that when i go to bed today uh i i did get rid of the middle area over there man that was that was that's a lot of wood. I've actually had to repair, repair my tools uh, twice. Or, well, no, once. Once uh, for this. But, um, yeah. So, I did, and I just didn't take that down yet, the minecart system. But, but so far, it looks pretty good. I, I think that even though this is probably very short, I, I just, I think I'm going to wrap up here and then do some more work between now and uh, the weekend here and try to get uh an episode out for wednesday that way there's that way there's something you know i i really um i've been getting around you know 18 to 20 to 25 views uh, on this series which you know that's like i have said a billion times ad nauseum that's not why i do it however i really do appreciate appreciate the, the you know the 20 25 people who who are checking this out i think that's i think that's pretty awesome i really appreciate you and i, I you know if it's if it's if you're giving up your time to watch this series then i should 
I should try to keep up a, a steady sort of flow of progress on this world because I am as excited as as anyone to see what is going to come next. And I, you know, I often don't know. I don't know what's going to come next. So, um, why don't I sleep before I say goodbye? Because I, I like to put the thumbnail last because it actually makes things a little bit easier. <laughs> it makes things a little bit easier. Um, as far as uh, grabbing a thumbnail at the end of the video. So anyway, I think this is probably as good of a place as any to call it. And I'm going to work more. The only reason why I didn't do the last building or two down in the bottom of the screen there is because I, I would have needed to remove that walkway. And I am just out of gumption for the night. So I'm going to go to bed. Try, try to I'll probably try to think about what I want to do with the ceiling. I know the bottom and the size I want to be black void, but the top I don't know yet. And, and I'm going to have some more floating stuff. I actually have kind of plans. I, I might do one of those purple ships, but the thing is I don't want to use purple here. Uh, that would be the obvious go-to is to use purple here, but I want this to be clearly man-made in the style of the end. And I think there's a distinction there that's important. So instead of use end stone, I use sandstone. Instead of use purple, I used uh, uh, brick, you know, cause I need the stairs and stuff. But, but yeah, I, I think so far it's a really good start and I'm looking forward to continuing the project, but not tonight. So thank you so much for watching and I will see everyone next time from the uh, re the realm of Vastin. By the way, check out the wiki. It's It's been updated. We're up to, I don't know, probably 20 pages of lore. It's pretty, uh, pretty fun. So, bye everyone.